not super cold in my little shop today, but uh, I'm out here uh, bending blades. I'm back here bending the blades for uh, two more turbines. It's a little bit chilly. I've got my old wood burning stove hooked up. Um, Needing kind of a little warm spot. Gotta burn the cobwebs off of it. It's still, this is the first time it's been used in quite a while. It has a little low fire going on. Um, have it adjusted where it'll burn slow and steady for quite a long time. And uh, people make fun of my stovepipe. The idea here is to dissipate as much heat back into the building before it goes out the wall um, as I can, you know, just to, I mean, the idea is to heat, it isn't to cook. In a, in a house where you have a wood burning stove and you use it for every day, uh, cooking and everything, yeah, you want the heat to go outside as quickly as possible because uh, in the summertime you don't need it hot you need to cook and this is set up just for heating um, let's see I can't see there we go it's putting out a little more smoke than I like I could give it more air burn cleaner but that would mean it burns faster and that would also mean uh, more wood use and more heat goes right outside instead of turning into usable heat on the inside just thought I'd share okay it's been a little while since I started it out Guards working pretty good on that. Kind of a calm day, but we know we're getting a little bit of wind. Alright, here's the stove. Take some readings off this. Got uh, 400, 414, something like that. Probably a little warmer towards the back. Hottest spot right there. We'll look at that. See here. That's 400. Look up here. 167. That's good. And right over here where it goes in the wall. 137. Not hot enough to burn wood. That's what I was looking for. Majority of the heat. Majority of the heat is right, in, right inside the building where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oop, there we go.